Hallelujah. Yet again in this new year, I want to celebrate my covenant brother. And I want to celebrate Mama Gio in the house. I thank God for you, God. In this new year, the Lord will keep you. The Lord will honor you. And the Lord will make available for you all that you need to the glory of his holy name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Children of God, how you will know that God has been faithful to you and me this year is simply because you are alive right now. Or rather, throughout last year, is that you are alive. And how you will know that he will continue in his faithfulness is that you successfully got to church this morning without any troubles. Yesterday night, someone sent me a word and said to me that for them in their family, it is a black Saturday. That just that morning, they lost their mother. You can imagine how the devil started their year for them. But your year did not start with bad news. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. We are not better than them. It is just that our God is a faithful God. He is too faithful to fail us. Hallelujah. This year, the prophecy has gone forth that for us is a year of what? Divine provision. Divine provision. I'm not really going to preach you. I want us to talk frankly. Because it's the beginning of the year and I'm beginning to be empowered enough through both information and wisdom so that we will be able to make the most of the year. A lot of people are always seated and wanting what God will do for them. They don't care to position themselves to receive what God wants to do for them. I don't know if you understand what I just said. If you're not properly positioned for what is about to happen for you, when the thing is happening, you may not have the capacity to hold on to it. Amen. And so you will see the thing, but it will still slip out of your hands because you don't have the capacity. But for us, that will not be our portion this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Our portion this year will be that of one week, one testimony Amen. to the glory of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to paint a picture of how the year will run for you through the windows. Of Psalms chapter number 47. Psalms chapter number 47. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. This is a day that you will intentionally keep shouting to God in praise. Are we there? How many of you know that scriptures cannot be broken? How many of you know that God cannot lie? Now, how many of you know that the word of God is a one show word of promise? Amen? Amen? So everything I'm saying to you this morning, I want you to pen it down as a prophetic word for you. Amen? Amen. You tell yourself that as I keep shouting with praises, Child will be my testimony. A lot of people see tell under the sound of my voice this morning. You will not lose any battle this year. Yeah. Yeah. You will not hear You will not lose any battle this year. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now listen to me. He said, For the Lord most high, and you have to, is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. Now, as you shout, you will begin to understand why he is the most high. Why? In verse 3, he says, He shall subdue the people of thine. Now, listen to me. 
I do not care the number of people that are fighting against you. Or how many of them that has fought against you in the past. What I know is that in this year 2022, Jesus will subdue all your enemies under you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He said he shall subdue the people of the world and the nations under our feet. A lot of people here will make news this year. You know, I think we will make news this year. In the name of Jesus. He said, He shall choose our inheritance for us. The excellency of Jacob will be Lord. Now listen to me. Everything that is your inheritance in Christ that was in question before. You know what is that? You know there are some things that is supposed to be manifested in your life. But even you yourself, because you are not seeing it, you are even, you are even questioning the power of God. I don't know if you understand me. Praise God. But in this year, everything around you that has been in question, that is making you doubt God, or making people ask you where is the God you serve, those same things will cause people to come and serve your God. You have to be very sensitive this morning. Because how you start matters a lot. Amen. How you start matters a lot. So I want you to take these prophetic words from the windows of some forty seven very seriously. And I want you to hold on to it as you run through the year. When you face anything, you remind God what he said to you in the first Sunday of the year. He said, the Lord is gone up in the shadows. Did you see that? So he means that this year. Let me give you, let me give you an instance. You know, people know that the rest is gone up in the shadows. The Lord also comes down in the shadows. How many of you know that? Right? What does it mean by the Lord is gone up? When the Lord goes up for you, He settles everything that is in your path that you cannot settle for yourself. Oh, yes. So that when you get there, you have a school track. I don't know if I'm communicating. And that is why I am too sure that the lot of you sitting here right now, you are going to experience sweatless breakthroughs. Yeah. Your projects this year shall be with me. Yeah. 
the child. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. In answer, sing praises to God. Are you there? Sing praises. Sing praises unto our King. Sing praises. This year, create time from month to month to dance and shout and praise the Lord. It might even be that things are not going the way you want it. Don't look at those things. Make up your mind and tell yourself that I will praise God probably every first day of the month or every second day of the month or every last uh, Thursday of the month or every last Friday of the month. You know, just have a resolute time to gather praises and give to me. Do you know why? The Bible says that he dwells in the praises of his people. There are some things you cannot do for yourself. There are some things that your connections cannot make happen for you. But those things are the things that praise and deliver to you. you that song says, The things that are impossible, the things that money cannot buy, they are the things that he has done for me. What my father cannot do, what my mother cannot do, Jesus has done it. Hey, hey, holy, holy, impotent God, holy, science God, dependable God, reliable God. Apostle Ben was talking of faith. I said, this man, 
Anytime I'm coming, I will come with blindfold. If I come into church, I will tie his eyes. So anytime you see me tying his eyes, don't wonder what is wrong with you. I know maybe because my chair is not far from me. Anytime I put this, I know to use to use telescopic kind of look at this. So from next time, I will be coming with blind food. Praise the Lord. Because what Jesus said to me is that there is positive energies and there is negative energies. And negative energies around you train you. It makes it when people look at you, they don't want to favor you. When people look at you, they don't want to do anything with you. In fact, when you do business and there is negative, whatever, rather, it can never work. You will only be hearing negative, negative things about it. But the Lord said, Can I show you? He said that when you hear the people of the world teaching these things, they have learned it from us. He said it is possible to build positive energy around you. How many of you know that there is even someone on Facebook? He sells bracelets. One of the bracelets alone is, I think, that has a new They have one of 150,000. And they say, if you wear it, what it does is that it attracts positive energy to you. And before you know it, everything around you, not around. You will not begin to get business or traffic and that and that. He said they are learning from us. And the Lord said, to build positive energy around you, you have to begin to develop your faith daily in this thing. Did you hear what I said? You have to do what? Develop your faith daily. Now, the Bible made us understand that faith is made by what? Hearing. And hearing the word of God. So, some of you, what you need to do, because most people sitting here right now, they don't have time to read their Bible and watch on Sunday. If you go on Sunday, on the open Bible, everybody will read it. But what you are going to do is that, thank God for technology. I can not say that God for technology. That's your phone in your hand. Even if you don't have internet, the day you have internet, download messages that are different in your phone. Am I communicating? How many of you understand what I'm saying? Download messages that are different. Amen? When you download it, maybe you're going to walk in the morning, use your earpiece, put it in your ear, and be listening to it. At times, when you even want to sleep, you put and listen to it. Some of you, if you have what they call audio Bible in your home, you put it on and you sleep. Because whether the devil like it or not, you must build what? Positive energy around you. And the only thing that builds effective positive energy around a man is the word of God. That was why he came into a chaotic place that was surrounded with all sorts of negative energy and he began to speak. The Bible said, and God said, and God said, and God said. Before you know it, Everything that had to do with that place became beautiful. I don't know if you understand what I just said. So it is possible for your life to be beautiful this year. But you have to surround yourself with the energy that comes from this. You see this? This year, you have to surround yourself with it. Now, you cannot tell me you don't have time. You cannot tell me that you are a very busy person. There are times when you drive. Am I making sense? When you are driving, listen to it. Stop the idea of when you are driving, you are making call of gossip. When they call you that time, you answer briefly. This year is not the year that you give so much time to unnecessary associations. Am I making sense? Unnecessary associations. Don't give too much time to them this year. Because this year, if you calculate the numbers of this year, I'm not supposed to go this deep, but I want some people that can understand to understand what I'm trying to say. This year is 2022, am I correct? So 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to what? 6. Hello. 
Should I continue? Am I beginning to confuse you? Eh? Praise God. You know why I'm going this way? I want us to walk because the Bible says that my people perish or what? Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Whether you believe it or not, you have to pray through to the spiritual if you must make sense in life. If your life has to be made new, if your life has to be beautiful, you have to pray through to the spiritual. And that is why I am telling you how you can do it. This is not a way that you need to drop from one prophet to another, from one district. No acrobats this year. Every acrobats this year will fail. Am I making sense? You don't even need to say amen. That's what we have. Listen to me. This year you will hear, you will hear a lot of people that some of you might even believe they are doing really it right. Some stories will come up this year. You know that last year, the rate at which in fact, sometimes that's when my mother gave me a call and said, my baby, I think you should be very careful. I said, why is it? You see, you notice know, that pastors in Nigeria are dying. Amen? How many of you noticed that there was a year people, a way people died last year that was not, we couldn't understand. And they were in They were all dying. Now let me say something to you. It is because there is a spiritual project that is happening. There is a spiritual project. So it's only wisdom for you to stand with the right ground. And now let me also tell you something. How many of you know that they don't write the right ground on the head? Eh? So, the only way to stand with the right ground is to discover Jesus for yourself. Did that know the place of the Eh? Discover Jesus for yourself. No matter what anybody is telling you, wear it with the word of God. Get convinced through this. When you're convinced through this, then you will know the right kind of people to follow. Whatever is being said to you, after it is said to you, talk to God about what is said to you. And let the conviction come from you. Now let me also tell you how to know when the Lord approves something. When you go to God talking to him about that thing, and you finish talking to him about that thing, and you have peace within you, know that there is an approval because it's a place of peace. But when you are done with that and you're still struggling and you're still not comfortable and that be careful. What did I say? It's a beautiful year. But you and I we have to know how to run effectively so that we can reap the dividends of the year. This is a year that a lot of people will understand the meaning of daily benefits. Because if you stand right, if you look at it on daily basis and there is something positive happening. Hallelujah. Why? Because of the year we are in. This is the king of man. Praise God. 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6. And 6 is the number of man. God was creating everything and everything and everything. He didn't bother with man until the sixth day. He did everything. He created everything. And then he remembered man. And he did not just create man that day, he put man in charge. After he remembered man, he created man to do what? To have dominion. So this year, the access to dominion is open. But you have to stand right so that you can have dominion. A lot of you under my voice. By the 31st day of December in this year, dominion will know your name. People will look at you and they will say, This one has dominion. I don't know if I'm communicating this morning. So for you this year, this year cannot be casual. No, it cannot be casual. It will be a year that supernatural becomes a natural in your life. And that is the reason why I'm telling you how to, I'm telling you how to go about it. Look at what the Bible says in Joshua. In Joshua chapter number 1 and verse 8, he made it very clear to us. He said what? This book of the law. Which book? Which book? Which book? In fact, how many of us went to church in Bible today? You know, we are going to the same that at the point we don't want to church in Bible, we just search the church in Bible and we see quite the normal people. But the Bible is telling us how good success shall become a portion. 
and our positive energy will be built around us that even the favors who are not looking for will begin to look for us. You don't understand. Praise God. He said, This book of the Lord shall do not, shall do what? not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Now, let me say something for you, too. With the particular stage we are in in the world today, do you think it's possible to meditate day and night in the world? Let's be truthful with ourselves. Amen. Do you think it's possible? To meditate day and night. Eh? I like I like just a female example. I also say no there. Because you have to go to work. Eh? If you don't go to market, they have to go to market. If you should not go to school, they have to go to school. I have to go back. There, there are lots of things that we need to do. But I also want to say that in as much as I believe in, it is also possible. How is it possible by what I told you before? Maybe you want to go to the toilet. I can remember those days. How many of you have ever gone to the toilet with this before? You understand? You see that you will be reading, 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 reading. Maybe I have not told you what you are doing, but the newspaper you are reading is sticking me in there. How many of you have You get praise God. So instead of us using newspaper, let us use, we might not go with our Bible, actually, but we can go with a message on the phone. Or an audio Bible. And we begin to listen as many times as possible. You know what will begin to happen? Subconsciously, spiritually, you will be building positive energies around you. Positive energies. Because unconsciously, I don't know how many of you know that. There's a way you will read something and read something. You will even repeat it without knowing. It can even become your, your, like, your slang, kind of. I remember the year I learned it shall not stand. I was still a child, teenager. And we're in church, and the Reverend Amazing went to go up, Amazing of Assembly, then, and then he said that throughout that year, when we encounter things we don't like, we should shout, we shall not stand. Neither shall it come to pass. And you know, then you were very, very, very hot business, young hot business. So one of the days in my father's house, our fridge refused to work, and I wanted very cold water. And I looked at that fridge and hit the fridge later, it shall not start, neither shall it come to pass. Funny enough, they put up the fridge again, they started working. Amen. Maybe there was something I would impress my go, but then I know that that is what happened. Praise so, God. So, what am I telling you today? That was when that slogan became part of me. And he said that we overcame by the blood of the Lamb of God, the words of our testimony. So, you find out that when you begin to do what I said, there are things that people will say to you. Instead of you to answer the normal way you used to answer, a scripture can just come out of the mouth. How many of you have experienced that time? Especially again, and before you know it, it just changes that situation and things begin to work the way. But you, you are not saying that things are working. You don't know that you to have changed your standpoint position. Nothing works until somebody works it. So this year is a year that you have to do what? Live intentionally and do the little so that you can have what the game has to offer. There is a way Abraham would have answered the question of Isaac and they would not get to the place of uh, Jehovah's Jireh. How many of you know? Because Isaac had already asked, we have this, we have that, we have the other one. Where is the lamb for sacrifice? Because Abraham surrounds himself with positive energy. He knew what to answer. What did he answer? He said, the Lord will provide for himself what? A lamb. Did God do it? I mean, he did not do it. Am I, am I facing the puzzle together properly? Amen. He said, that thou mayest, or that you look at it, when you meditate day and night, the effect is that 
you will begin to observe to do according to all that is written therein. Now let me also say something that I need you to know today. No amount, everything in scripture has principles. Amen. There is no amount of prayers and fasting that can substitute for obedience. Hello. Did you hear what I said? There is no amount of prayers and fasting that can substitute for obedience. Bible made us to understand when when Samuel was addressing Saul and then he said, he said to obey is better than sacrifice. So if you will have encounters upon encounters upon encounters in 2022, you have to obey. Your obedience level has to shock everybody. Amen. You don't have to obey because it's logical to obey. You just have to obey because Jesus said, do it. And how can you know what to do when you have not surrounded yourself enough with the world? Amen. When the world surrounds you enough, you will know what to do and when to do what to do. Praise Jesus. Now, when you begin to do, now listen to me, listen to me. From the book of Genesis, chapter number 12, to the book of Genesis, chapter number 24, Abraham was busy obeying and obeying and obeying and obeying the next day. He obeyed, he left. He obeyed, he took this on and went to sacrifice. And at the end of the day, because of the impact of the obedience of Abraham, we all have become children of Abraham. We all are beginning to read from the dividends of Abraham. The impact of his obedience was so much so, we're still going to come back to this scripture, but let's see Genesis chapter number 24, and let's see verse 1, what the Bible says there. 24 verse 1. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and well stricken in age. Now listen to me. And the Lord has blessed Abraham in all things. Obedience. That is what obedience can do. No wonder why he said in this church nowadays that God may have observed to do all that is there in for them. For them. For them. For them means when you have obeyed to do all that is there, this shall be the result. So he said, For them, thou shalt make your way prosperous, and thou shalt have good sources. Thou shalt make your way prosperous, and thou shalt have good sources. Amen. Amen. Praise God is still doing wonderful things. God is still doing marvelous things. And he is still the same God. And he has said this year that he has opened up windows of opportunities, keeping position right. Because you cannot fit in a square peg in a round hole. If you want to put something in a round hole, child of God, you yourself must become round. Two of God. Praise God. So there is something we need to do to assess what the Lord is saying. Now listen to me. Woman of God, that you are having people and that you are fat doesn't mean the most have been You know that. You cannot say that I'm a fat person and a person. The one with the developed was we did to very well. You know what you see inside the You cannot say because I have people and fight under a boxer. You say that. To become a wrestler or a boxer, or if you want muscles developed, you have to develop because you want to teach him everything and gym it up until the team becomes six parts and shoulder parts and leg parts. You cannot wish 
of the gates in this song. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, child of God, believe it or not, no lazy man is qualified for success. That is scripture. Of course, we saw it in Joshua 1 8. You need to do what is there. When you do it, he said, Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and you shall have what? Good success. And of course, in Proverbs 22 29, he said, See, I am a diligent in business, you shall have what? Stand before kings. So there is something that you need to do. There is something that you need to do. I pray for you. Your life will not be empty this year. Your life will not be empty this year. In the name of Jesus. But you also have to understand that you cannot be this year the way you feel like. You wake up in the morning. Business is your own. You will say, I don't feel like going today. Child of God, you will end up a failure. Because if the farmer does not feel like going to farm during the planting season, during the harvest, you shall have nothing to harvest. No wonder scripture says that he that watches the weather will not sow. He said, Go to the ant, ye slow garden land. They gather their food in dry season as at least the rainy season. Child of God, we have just entered 2022. This month, should be a month where you begin to analyze, where you begin to strategize, where you begin to discipline yourself so that you can get what the year has for you. I was also looking at the children today. They were acting a drama and they put out the two things I also want to put out. I don't know, maybe they made a meeting with Apostle Ben to do that. Apostle Ben collect the faith aspect, the children collect the giving and the forgiveness. I had him analyze the drama. He didn't talk about forgiveness. You know that that boy forgave his uncle at the end of the day. You watch it. <laughs> if you must indeed gather the things of this year, everybody that has offended you every day will forgive you. If they offend you every day, every day you do what? You will forgive them. Not because of them, but because of you. I don't know if I'm communicating. Because you are the one that knows what you're looking for. You are the one that knows what you're aiming at. They don't know. They don't know. So you have to be wise. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to be wise. Look at what the Bible says. In the book of Matthew, chapter number six, Matthew six, Matthew six, Matthew six, verse verse twelve and verse fourteen. Matthew six, twelve and fourteen. Amen. The Bible says, "And forgive us our debts, as we forget our uh, forgive our debtors." Verse fourteen. Verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, are you reading it? I didn't tell this scripture. I saw it in my own scripture too. He said, Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. You can't be asking mercy from God when you cannot have mercy on your fellow man. Last two years, the woman said that my shoe is not looking good in church. You still remember what she said last two years? Oh, was it not five years ago when I wanted to walk in front of the shop? I saw the way that the minister was looking at me about that. You still remember how we look at you five years ago? Child of God, you need deliverance. Because what I'm even talking about is forgiving daily. Talk less of some people that still remember what happened 10 years ago. And you want to move forward. If you want to move forward this year, the truth will not be shown it to us. We must forgive. We must forgive. Now your giving this year should not be in question. A lot of people want to prosper. 
But you may not want to do the thing. Prayer does not prosper people. Hey, can I shock you? Can I even shock you? You know that when you are giving thanks, you don't even need the pastor to pray for you. You give it to God. You didn't hear me. You know, like now, if you come and give off a lost seed, you say, Pastor, pray for me, I brought my seed. You don't even need that pastor prayer for that act to work. That's the time. When you give your parents, and it's not going to give your father money, you don't need to pray for you because you gave it. Amen. We only pray for you to help your faith. The blessing is already in the act. Hello. It's already in the act. See this gentleman now. Hmm? A lot of you who do not want to talk to your first foot. My own first foot have already arrived. I've already. I got my first food yesterday, yesterday around, around the, I think one or two o'clock in the morning, of my first food now. Some of us feel that kind of thing coming for them as first food. They will say, God will understand. They will bite it instead of giving it as first food. They will bite it. But you want the blessing to rest on your head this year. Don't miss giving your best food. That's easy. That's what the Bible says in Ezekiel. I think it's Ezekiel 44. I don't know. Ezekiel 44. Let's check it. Let's check it. The, the, those children, they just, you know, at times when these children are acting, we are just looking at what they are acting. We don't, we don't know that they are trying to tell us something. They are trying to tell us something. I think it's. Are we there? Ezekiel 44. Oh, no, it's not 44. 13. Oh, yes, yes, it is. 44. 30. Ezekiel 44. 30. The Bible says, Please, can you underline it to your feet? If you're using your fork, I write it on your fork. Apostle Lord did not say. Bishop in the end, you did not say. Apostle Christian, you did not say. Scripture said 44 and verse 33. And the first of all the first fruit of thy things, and every oblation of all, of every sort of your oblation, shall be what? The priest. Ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough. Why? That he may cause the blessing to rest away. To rest away. So you want the blessing to rest on you this year? Don't make the mistake of saying God will understand. God does not understand when you're doing the wrong thing. It's just like saying that mercy has taken it. When you know that why we also say one place, shall we continue in sin that grace may happen? This is not the year that you will deceive yourself. It's a year that you have to be intentional about everything that you're doing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know if I'm making sense to you this morning, but child of God, I want you to know that no fasting and prayer can replace obedience. When you see something in the world and you obey it, you gather the dividends immediately. That is why you have to do these things wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Don't do it that anybody is forcing you. Nobody is forcing you. God is not in need. Praise God. What you are giving to him is what he gave to you. If he didn't give it to you, you will not have it to give it back to him. Acrobats this year and shortcuts this year is going to fail. The only thing that will work is for you to do the needful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The last thing that I will talk before I make some declarations is that this year, don't do things because you think that is 
person with you. Make prayers of inquiries. Hello. A lot of people had stepped into error because they didn't ask questions. Make prayers of what? Inquiries. Don't be, you know, uh, impulsive in the things that you're doing. Look at what the Bible says in First Samuel. First Samuel chapter number 30. Let's see what happened there. John, David, sorry, didn't lose even one battle. And the reason is, David will never take a step until he has finished asking questions. He will ask before he will take a step. Verse 6. Let's see what happened in verse 6. Verse 6. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him, because the soul of all the people were grieved, every man for his son and his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Seven. Seven. And David said unto Abiathar the priest, Abimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the evil. And Abiathar brought hither the evil to David. Eight. And David inquired at the Lord. Now, what happened before David inquired from God is something that will happen to you and I. The first thing that comes to our mind is to pursue our enemies and catch them. How many of you know that? Because your family has been taken. You will not even be in the mood to think well. But look at it. David did not rush into the act. David was crying. David was also distressed. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. And he said, bring me the info. And the Bible says, and David inquired. And the Lord said, shall I pursue this group? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, pursue for thou shalt surely overtake and recover them all. Verse 17. Let's see what happened in verse 17. Verse 17 of the same street of David. Verse 17, and David smoothed them from twilight unto the evening of the next day, and there escaped not even a man, save 400 young men, which rode upon camels and fled. Verse 18, verse 18, aha, did you see that in your scripture? And David did what? I did not hear you, and David did what? He recovered all, because he asked questions. Don't take steps without asking questions. Don't take steps without asking questions. If not for any other thing, I know that the, the, the WhatsApp line of man of God is available to all. Am I correct? It's available to all. You can tell me, pray with me, Daddy, on this and this and this. Don't jump in those step taking. Praise God. No one like the man at the He said, Call on me, and I will do what? Show you. Show you. God will always show you. You can sit back and ask God, Why is this thing not working? What am I doing wrongly? What should I do now? I know of a woman. Pray this prayer, pray this prayer, pray this prayer, pray this and pray this and pray this. Months over months, months over months. He said, I cannot continue like this. I am tired, I am tired. Show me what I need to do. My husband is there, I need to tell this to our children. No one will show her in a dream. He showed her when she entered this tight bush and caught fire and carried it out to the major road and sold it. And before she knew, she was telling her dream. She woke up, she went to her master. He said, What type of dream is this? What type of dream is this? And her pastor after prayed with her. So that I think you need to go into firewood business. Some of us will say that God has been something us. How can, how can, how can, even at this moment, it's not I know that you want to be looking at me as the firewood said. But listen to me, that woman did not look at it that way. She started firewood business. Before you know it, she trained her five children. She built a house of firewood business. Three of her children are Obedience. If you ask God and He tell you what to do, do it. You know, some people they will ask God, God will tell them what to do, then they 
correct God. This year, don't be a correct God of God. Hello? Am I communicating this one? Okay, let's go to 2 Samuel. Let me show you something in 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel 5. 2 Samuel 5. So that you will understand, so that we put it together, you understand. It will be ever to run this year just like that. 2 Samuel chapter number 5. Yes, so verse 18. Verse 18. The Philistines also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rabbi. And David did what? Are you sure that what is in your Bible? Don't read my own. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go up to the Philistines? Will thou deliver them into my hands? And the Lord said unto David, Go up. For I will doubtless deliver the Philistines into thy hand. Now, most of us will say that when we ask God, that God will always favor what we are thinking. So when we say we have asked God, we will not do what we are thinking and say that is what the Lord will say. But let's see what happened in verse, uh, in verse 20. Let's go to 23. Go to 23. Go to 23. Look at it again. Look at it. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, Thou shalt not go up. Is that what is in your Bible? Eh? David inquired again. And God said, Don't go. He said, But fetch a compass behind them and come upon them over the mulberry trees. Yes, verse 24. He said, And let it be. Now look at it, look at the structure there. When thou hearest the sound of a going in the top of the mulberry trees, then thou shalt bestead thyself, for then what happens? The Lord shall go forth before you and will smite the Philistines. That's why most people go out God and they expect, and they still blame God for their attack. Meanwhile, they didn't answer. They didn't wait for God's timing. They didn't go before, and they still come back again to blame with, to blame God. I pray for wisdom upon your life in this year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, the warning of the year, the warning of this year. Don't be full of yourself. This year, this year, do not be full of yourself. Can I shock you? God has substitute for everybody he created. Did you hear what he said? How did I know? We all know that Jesus is a substitute for Adam. Am I correct? That's why they call Jesus second Adam. Eh? But can you turn your Bible to Revelation 13, 8? Revelation 13, 8. Revelation 13. Look at what the Bible says there. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship thee, whose name shall not written in the book of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. Is that what it says? Who is the Lamb that was slain? Who is the Lamb that was slain? Jesus, right? And the Bible here is telling us that he was slain from the foundation of the earth. Before what the earth had already been formed. Eh? So even when he was creating Adam, you know Adam will make mistakes and later Jesus will come to the thing to say that he will be Jesus. So he has already made that provision. God shall not be taking that surprise. Anything you know you're doing for all this year, do it all happen. Don't tell yourself that if you don't do it, they will come and beg you. God will not come to beg you. Am I making sense? And you lose the blessing of that thing. When you are expecting people to beg you. This is a year that you will be sold out to God. This is a year that you will be interested in what God is interested in. This is a year that you will decide that you will do God and do Him from the bottom of your heart. Listen to me and listen very well. God is still able to do beyond your imagination. He is still able to put you where you want Him to put you. He is the destiny and he can change the story of a man overnight. Praise the Lord. Some of 
you in this year, 24 hour miracle will become a story that comes around you almost on a daily basis for the glory of the living God. Hallelujah. Are we ready to just thank God yet again before the prophetic words begin to come out or rather declarations? Are we ready to thank the Lord yet again? It is actually a privilege to serve God. Have it at the back of your mind that you will do better this year. Can you be in our hands? Otoosimimasigi Jehovah. Otoosimimasigi Yeze. 